Hey, it's Chris, and in today's video, we're gonna look at what I think are the perfect Peloton workout headphones in today's video. The Powerbeats Pro Headphones are a much anticipated set of workout headphones, and they are finally here. In fact, I've had them for the last month. I've been using them on my Peloton bike and outside, and these are my thoughts. Music is such a big part of the Peloton experience. And that's one thing I'm glad to report is that the Powerbeats Pros sound amazing. They have the right amount of bass, nothing too overpowering, but just enough for those motivating workout tracks. One of the issues I've had with Bluetooth headphones, especially the cheap ones, is sometimes they won't sync up the audio with what's in the video. There's like a half a second delay. The Powerbeats Pros do not have that problem. The audio and video is in perfect sync. Probably the most make it or break it part of workout headphones is how well do they fit in your ears. When you're cycling on the Peloton, you are doing a lot of movements. And with those movements, if they don't fit well on your ears and in your ears, there's a possibility they could come out. The Powerbeats Pros do have these ear hooks, which hold them in extremely firmly. They do not budge at all and I am absolutely in love with that feature of the Powerbeats. When it comes to battery life, they have nine hours of battery life. I normally work out usually 30 to 45 minutes on the Peloton. So doing just an average 30 minute workout, I could easily go the whole week and not have to recharge them. So what I do with them is about every three or four days, I'll plug them in. They do use a lightning port. So the same port that I have on my iPhone and I just have a you know six foot cable sitting next to the couch, and I've had no issues with them dying. The Powerbeats do have a fast refill feature where you can get 1.5 hours of playback with only five minutes of charging. So even if you do forget to charge them, by the time you get your water and everything ready, you're gonna have more than enough juice in those things to make it through your ride. Sinking to the Peloton bike is almost exactly the same as sinking AirPods to the Peloton bike. So on the back of the case, there is a little button you press and you hold in. It is like most Bluetooth headphones. You hold that in and it's gonna put it into a Bluetooth pairing mode. This is something you're gonna to need to do for non-Apple related devices like the Peloton bike, which uses a Android base operating system on the screen. Once it's in the pairing mode, then you're gonna go into the Peloton bike, go into Bluetooth and your settings, and then you're gonna go ahead and pair it. Once paired, now it's ready for you to start working out. The Powerbeats Pro headphones are, in my opinion, the best set of headphones that you can get for your Peloton bike. They sound great, they pair easily, they sync up with the actual audio and video on the screen, and they have really long battery life. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. If you wanna see more videos like this on workout equipment, fitness tech, Peloton bike stuff, go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments about the Powerbeats Pros or the Peloton bike, go ahead and put them down in the comments below and I'll catch you guys in my next video.